How's it going? Excellent. I was in a shitty mood today, man. I was. I was watching TV. You ever been in like such a bad mood that even when you're watching bad shit happening to people, you're like, you know what? Good. <laughs> you know, I'm glad your life sucks. <laughs> Makes me feel better about my own. No, you know what I was doing? I was watching this, uh, you know those fabulous lives? I was watching the, uh, the fabulous life of the uh, Olsen twins, you know? And they're like 18 years old, they're like zillionaires. They got a great apartment, and it's making me feel like a loser. <laughs> then halfway through it, I find out one of them's anorexic. I was like, you know what? All right. <laughs> that makes me feel better. You know, I'm glad she's not eating. Hope you pass out, whack your head off your golden sink. <laughs> Just to add to my day. You know, I don't, get, I don't get how the other Olsen twin only weighs half a pound more, but she's fucking fine. <laughs> no, they're so starving, they're weak. That's why whenever they take a picture of them, you ever notice they gotta like fucking lean them up against each other? <laughs> so like they don't tip over like... They're like still trying to look sexy. They're not sexy, they look like aliens. They are, man. You can't weigh 42 pounds and have your eyeballs be 28 of that weight and not look like you're from outer space. Like, when I look at them, I think if E.T. was gonna have a threesome, those are the two bitches he'd hook up with. He would. He'd get that glowing finger going. Now, I'm feeling like a loser, man. I am, man. I'm fucking 36. I'm not married, you know? I'm at that age where everybody I know is getting married. You know, let me ask you a question. Why the hell do people keep getting married? You know, isn't anybody looking at the stats? I mean, what's it like? One out of two marriages goes right down the shitter? People, if you were going skydiving and they told you half the parachutes weren't gonna open, you'd be like, yo, fuck that, I'm not going. Yeah. No, it's like, I don't like those odds. I get a 50% chance of splatting on the ground. I'm not doing it, right? But there's something about getting married. People just have to do it. They're just like, is this the line to lose half my shit? Awesome! <laughs> this is gonna be great! I can't wait to lose my car, my money. Oh, look, the line's moving. One step closer to my own personal hell. <laughs> No, I don't think I could ever get married, man. Married dudes freak me out. Anytime you ask a married guy, what's it like being married? They always tell you it's good, but they always have a look on their face like they have like an appendicitis. You ever notice that? You're like, dude, what's it like being married? Like, you know, it's good, it's good. It's, uh... No, no, it's good, it's enjoyable, you know. It's, it's a lot of work, but, uh, you know, I think when you meet that special someone, there's a connection and I, I can't feel my legs. Let me just, just lean over here. You know, a woman completes a man and some other metaphor. <laughs> no, you know what freaks me out too, really? When you go to a man's house, there's nothing in there, a married guy's house. When you walk in there, there's nothing in there that even suggests a man even lives there. <laughs> it's all potpourri and throw pillows. That stupid canopy, we live in a dollhouse bullshit over the bed. Where does all the guy's stuff go? They just throw it out, they just walk into your apartment. Oh my God, look at all your stuff. All your stuff is stupid. <laughs> look at all this stupid stuff. Wow, guys buy really stupid stuff. Hey, you wanna go to the candle store? <laughs> Let's go to the candle store, wouldn't that be awesome? You've been dragged into that nightmare for like an hour and a half, 90 minutes just sitting there. This doesn't smell like a pumpkin, doesn't that smell like a pumpkin? <laughs> This looks like a Christmas tree, wouldn't that be great? Smell like Christmas in the apartment? Middle of summer, just fuck with your whole reality? <laughs> no, you know what it is? I didn't have like, a really good model necessarily, like growing up, like watching my parents, they always used to argue and shit, you know? Like I was afraid of my dad when I was growing up, you know? Anybody have a dad like that, you're just afraid of him? You know, not like those sitcom dads, they come home, the kids are like hugging their legs. My dad pulled in the driveway, me and my brother's freaked, like fucking dad's home. <laughs> Shut off the TV try to hide. Dude, if I stand like this, do I look like a lamp? He won't see me, right? Can I just fucking chill out here? He wasn't understanding. 
When you fucked up, he told you. You didn't sit down, well, we're gonna work it out. We'll just, you know, I still love you. He lo you. What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, you're an idiot. <laughs> Weren't you even paying attention? <laughs> oh, bullshit. <laughs> Christ, you're just like your mother. You're fucking out to lunch. <laughs> that was my dad. No matter what he was bitching about, somehow he would make it about my mother. Would have nothing to do with it nothing to do with her. He could somehow find a connection and spin it back. He'd have said, oh, is it raining out? Oh, for Christ's sake, I don't need this shit. Christ, it's the same goddamn thing with your mother. That woman is a fucking cloud hanging over my life. Anytime you got an idea, Christ, she shits all over it. <laughs> no, he was hilarious. He used to work all the time, so he didn't really have like any friends or anything. So he used to talk to me and I was eight years old, like I was a fucking bartender. <laughs> Just dumping all this shit on me. Like playing in the sandbox, he'd be coming up. I'll tell you, I don't know what the fuck I ever got married for. I'll tell you, man, I'm, I'm gonna get the fuck out. I swear to God, one of these days, when I get in the car, I'm gonna fucking drive out of here. Your mother's a bitch, Billy. Do you realize that? The woman is a fucking bitch. Is that too real for you guys? You fucking know what I'm talking about. I, I will get married, you know. I was making that. I'll definitely get married someday, you know. I, I, you know, I love women and everything. I'm just finding I'm not, like, compatible with them. You know what I mean? <laughs> you ever just feel that? Like, women have, like, too much energy for me. You know what I mean? Like, you can't have a day off when you have a girlfriend. You ever notice that? It's almost like they see that open day. They're like, oh, my God, let's go fill it up with shit. <laughs> no, then they just come at you with one horrible idea after another. <laughs> horrible ideas, like you wanna make some sandwiches and go to the park? <laughs> you wanna go to the container store, get some containers for your t-shirts? <laughs> this is the worst one. Ever get this one? You wanna go to brunch? <laughs> you wanna go to brunch on Sunday? <laughs> and inside you're like, fucking no! <laughs> But you can't say that, right? You gotta keep them happy. So what do you do? You agree, like, yeah, let's go to brunch. What a great idea. Why would you wanna sleep in on a Sunday when you can go pay $18 for eggs? Now nah, you think it. Now nah, you think it. Then we can sit around to listen to your friends have moronic conversations about the eggs, like, is that pesto? Is that pesto in your omelet? Oh, it's asparagus. It's asparagus, I thought it was pesto. Oh, you just wanna flip the whole fucking table over? It's horrendous. I'm trying to learn to pick my battles when I date girls. I usually argue with women all the time, man. I'm stupid like that, you know? Like I dated this girl one time. She was like really into like women's issues. So we used to always have these dumbass arguments. Like one time she came up to me and she goes, okay, explain this to me, Bill. Why does a guy make more an hour to do the exact same job, huh? Hmm? Hmm? I go, I'll tell you why. Because in the unlikely event that we're both on a Titanic and it starts to sink, for some fucked up reason, you get to leave with the kids and I have to stay. <laughs> yeah, that's why I get the dollar more an hour. No, think about it. If there's a house fire, it's always women and children first. I gotta stand there with like the back of my shirt on fire going, let's go people, let's go, let's go. <laughs> so that's how I look at it. No, it's a dollar an hour surcharge. <laughs> that if something fucked up happens, either I can't leave or I gotta like get in the way of it to give you a head start, like rabbit dog, run honey, one Mississippi, two Mississippi. <laughs> you hear a bump in the night, I gotta go check it out. Like, yes, he does have a knife. Anytime there's a hostage situation, who do they negotiate for first? Well, at least let the women and children go. Well, what about me? <laughs> Bullets hurt me too. Why the fuck do I gotta stay in the vault? <laughs> no, that's my point, man. Where are all the feminists in those situations? You know what I mean? You can't find them. 
appear no feminists in a house fire. That's a, that's a guarantee. You could take the most hardcore feminist, some chick right in your face, like, he's showing a sick son of a bitch. Little short, little haircut, the whole nine yards, right? <laughs> Second those flames break out, she's gonna twist those little hairs into pigtails. Ooh, I'm just a girl. I wanna go play jump rope. And leave you standing in a burning house like you're not flammable. <laughs> you know, but I'm not, I'm not a dick, though. I'm not, I'm not saying I think a woman should make a dollar less an hour to do the same job. All I'm saying is if you're gonna make what I make when the boat sinks, you better be standing right there next to me, listen to that guy play the cello. <laughs> then you get the corner office. You get all the benefits or whatever. <laughs>